is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video we've got a very special video as you can tell i am not at the house i'm not at the farm not at the ranch we are at the guggen squad hq in texas that's right folks i left nebraska for the day um for a very 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 good reason it looks like we've got some subscribers oh there's there's they're stoked they're pumped they came to the hq the hq is not open though what's up no I was, I was just doing an intro. You guys pulled up at the right time. What's up, man? Where are you guys from? Right, right here. Right. Oh, really? Yeah, local, right lo here. local beauties, huh? Yeah. Well, it's Lots nice, to, nice all to all meet you guys. Around. See you later, local beauties. Yeah. Good luck fishing. All right. Well, the, the the if I knew how to run a cat, well, the thing is, I used to be a cashier at Shields. I know how to run a cash register. I just don't know how to run our system. Back when I worked at Shields, it was like we're operating a fossil. This is like new technology. Anyways. I'm at the Guggen Squad HQ. If you guys are new here, you don't know what this place is. It's located in Texas, and you can be like those beefcakes and show up and hang out. And we're, it's usually open. It's just not open. I think Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I think it's something like that. Like earlier in the week, we don't. We are open over the weekends and stuff. So, this is the HQ. For those guys that don't know. Um, and I, like I said, I came here for one reason, one reason only. Uh, my buddy Toby, who delivered the side by sides. You guys know he's got a huge ranch here in Texas, um, massive, and he's got zebras and all sorts of exotic animals like that you'd see in Africa. Um, and he was the first person I talked to when I talked about buying the high fence ranch. You guys know I bought the high fence ranch. We were going to raise exotics. Come to find out the fence was only eight foot and it needed to be 10 foot, big botch, right? And But most of you guys got super hyped, super hyped when I bought the high fence ranch because I was going to have zebras and oryx and kudus and all sorts of other stuff. Um, and now I'm not able to. And Toby, I was talking to Toby about it a little bit. And then he calls me and he's like, hey, I've got a really cool video if you guys want to come out and check it out. And I was like, well, there's a lot of you guys watching that wanted to see me do the high fence deal, um, like the management, uh, but now I'm not able to, but Toby does. And so there's a lot of you guys that want to see it. And so Toby invited us to come down and film them tranquilizing zebras in a good way. Okay. No harm by a helicopter. Okay. And then carrying them like life flighting them from the helicopter over to a trailer. And what he's doing is he's selling them. So he raises them. He doesn't hunt them or anything. He raises and sells them just like you would cattle. Except cows, you can let a sheepdog out and they'll corral them into the trailer. You got to use helicopters and dart guns here. And so he's like, hey, we're doing it this week. You want to come out? You're more than welcome. I'm like, cool, let's go. And so I was like, it's really super short notice. So we're like, cool, we're going to make it. We're going to come here. Um, and then I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, well, after we dart them, what else are we going to do? Well, we could fish since fishing's usually pretty good right now, especially at Toby's. Um, and so I ended up bringing my dad down. Pop Beefcake is here. He's inside, he's checking out. He's never, never seen any of this. He's never seen this. He's never seen the offices, which we're gonna go to the office, the actual main office, which some of you guys probably haven't even seen before. Um, it's where all the important people work. And so we're gonna go there and Banjo's gonna be there. Banjo's coming in for a meeting. Banjo's not here to fish and he's not here to dart, um, but he is coming in for the meeting, so you'll see him. So stay tuned till the end, um, closer to the end of the video and you'll see our actual office, which is like where all the magic happens. This is like, it's cool. I mean. Lots of lures. There's a store. I'll give you guys a tour of the store. This is obviously where we store all the toys. You know, Rackley's got his little camper over there. We got the Guggen tune and whatnot. So I figured if I'm coming here to film zebras getting tranquilized via helicopter, I might as well show you guys all the other cool stuff we have going in Texas. So this is the Guggen Squad HQ. Like I said, you guys can come here. You can check it out. Um, you can shop in the store. Just check the hours. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's like weekends only. We It's very limited right now. Um, with, with Everything with COVID kind of shut it down. We haven't really ramped back up yet. Uh, but I want to give you guys a full tour and and we've got exclusive bundles that are here that I don't even have at my house, but are here that we will take fishing. So right inside here is meeting, and I'll try to make this quick, meeting area, okay? This is where we sit down. Everyone that's came here, look, Paul Caffaro, okay, that's me. Um, Senior Bass, you got Carl Von Dibble, you got Fanatic, uh, a whole bunch of other people that have been here. They signed this. Um, and then right through here, this is the podcast studio, which has not been used forever. We need to get back on the podcast grind, but if you guys want to see it, boom, there's the podcast studio. So that's where podcasts get filmed, catch, clean, cooks, get done back in here. That is camera guy editing room there. Look, 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 Cam, our beloved friend, Cam. He's like the absolute mastermind for a lot of the Guggen squad content. Um, He's doing a buck shoot right now. So we're getting ready to launch bucks, getting all that stuff done, getting all the photos. So this is all behind the scenes stuff. This is where catch clean cooks happen right here. It's where you, you get all the goods. Um, so there's not much else in here. Bathrooms, important stuff. Um, like I said, you already saw the warehouse. And then in here is where my dad is. He's hanging out. This is where the store is. So if you guys want to come shopping here and we are open, 
You already doing some shopping? He's, he's picking out what we're gonna be using today. We have no, we didn't come here with any lures. I brought reels, no rods, and no lures. So we'll have to buy, or steal, more or less, uh, some stuff for the day. So this is the store, if you guys hadn't seen it. Like I said, you can come shopping here. I don't know where the fish tank went, though. That's usually here. We usually have pet fish. I'll have to ask somebody where, either somebody stole it or we ended up getting it clean. But these are the box I'm talking about. Guggen exclusive bundles. There's lots of them, a whole bunch of them. There's still some on the website. I know some of them are getting close to selling out, but they are brand spanking new. So in here, like this one, for example, look, a little popping. Okay, I'm already keeping that one. That's worth throwing that today. Um, but you got drag and drops. You got, you got rattling chunks. You've got little Mondo worms, slim shakes, buzz baits. I mean, and these ones, they're, they're all different. We've got what? Clear water, dirty water, summer, bank fishing, bunch of different models that are like designed for specific times of year, specific fishing. Um, like this one here, you've got, like, look at that. A little chartreuse pepper. Woo! All sorts of good stuff in here. So if you guys want to check them out or basically anything else you see in this room, you can get a discount if you use promo code FLAIR. Link down below at guggensquad.com. Go to the website or the app. We have an app. Uh, use promo code FLAIR and you'll get a huge discount on all this stuff, including the bundles if they're still here. Um, but you can do rods, all the baits and whatnot. So we're going to do a little shopping for today's event. Like I said, we're going to run up to Toby's. They're not tranquilizing today because it's too hot. It's stinking hot out there. Um, so we're going to go up there and get a tour of Toby's, check in on it. I know he did like a shooting range I haven't seen. So we'll check all that out. I don't know how much of that I'll bring you guys along with. And then this evening, we're going after Big Bass. Do you know what your PB is specifically? Like, a, do you think it's like a six? Five thirteen. 513. Yeah. So that's the goal. That's to break Pop Beefcake's PB, which is 5 513. Um, it's totally doable at Toby's. Totally doable. I don't think I've ever fished Toby's in July though, or August or whatever. It's really hot out basically. So we'll have to see. That's kind of the goal. We're going to evening fish and then we're going to wake up super early, like a sunrise at like 5 30 in the morning and fly around in helicopters and shoot at zebras with tranquilizing darts. I know it sounds crazy, but it's gonna happen. We'll bring you guys with us. And then after we shoot, then we're gonna go to the office and do business meetings. Like that's when you know, like your job's cool. When you get to go tranquilize zebras prior to your business meetings. I feel like that's, that's when you know you're having a good time. So that's the plan. We're gonna do a little shopping, get geared up and we'll see you guys out at the ranch. Stay tuned. Shoo, we made it folks. So we spent the day, we hung out with Toby. Uh, we didn't really film any, but we got the grand tour. Pop Beefcake hadn't been out here before, so we went. Actually, I saw so much stuff that I had never seen. But I feel like it's, if you're new here, it's it's almost it's too much to go. There's 3,000 plus acres. Perspective, my ranch is like three, four hundred, so uh, about ten times the size of my ranch. And this is the main lake. This is uh, it's actually the North Lake here. And um, there's a South one that's crappie, and then there's a big lodge that we're actually going to be staying in tonight. And then where they're doing all the zebra helicopter stuff is up the road, but it's now like 6, 6 15 ish. So we've got like two and a half ish hours before the sun goes down. It was like a hundred, felt like 104 out here today. It still feels like 104. Uh, we we kind of wanted to wait. We chilled, we ate, and now it's time to give it a dangle and hopefully catch a big bass, break pop beef cakes. PB. It's got to be, what did you say, six? 5.13. Five, oh, five, th five pounds, 13 ounces though, right? So it's almost six. Not 0.13, 13 ounces. The question is, do we have a scale? You got a scale? Oh, we're good then. Does it work? That's the question. Oh yeah, we're good. It's on. Well, that's it. Look at, oh, look at that. There's a little bass right there. Look at that guy. So what we have tied on actually, um, we got some stuff out of the exclusive bundle. We we raided the HQ for some more stuff. So what we got going is a clickbait, which is just a little bladed jig, popping frog. We've got the revolver here, more popping frogs, more revolver. So we're, we're going to try to get some top water fish. Now it's sunny. It's hot. I don't know if they're going to bite until it gets a little bit darker. I mean, there's, I can use it as a large mouth right there couple of one pounders. Um, if not, like I said, a clickbait would probably work. Swim jig would probably work. Like more subsurface stuff. But like nothing would beat catching a six plus pounder on a top water. I feel like that would just make things really good. So um, that's going to We're going to untie the boat, get the old chesty on just like the good old days and get to dang. I'll see if we can catch a big fish before we rest up, get up early in the morning. And I guess we're tranquilizing zebras. Stay tuned. The water's a little dirtier here. You can see there's some, some mats and stuff. I might take it easy and just start with the old clickbait. All right, so I'm gonna take a little saucy swimmer and I'm gonna put on the back of a clickbait and chuck and wind. Bingo. Oh, oh, you got one. Look at that, already. That, on the, that was on the revolver, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. She, I ain't even got a cast in yet. I'd say they're eating. Not the PB, but that'll work. All right, one down. All right, here's a break. Oh, 
I got him. I, got, I saw him. I saw him before I even felt him. Yes, yeah, I fished him. I was like, right. I say right along this edge. There's definitely gonna be some fish. Shoo! There we go. Look at that. A little three pounder. I watched him eat, and I was like, oh, does he have it? Look at that. She. Finally, we found a break. I don't know if you guys could see. But that is what we're dealing with. It is like super, super thick. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just straight grass, hydrilla. I don't even know what it is. But there's a pocket here, finally. And that was right where we caught that fish. I think I'll try to sit in these little open pockets here. And we'll find some more. Oh. Yeah, I got him. Finally. Oh, just a little guy. Sheesh, finally, it's, it's those edges. Yeah. They're on them, right there on the edge. Just a little squeaky, squeaky. See you, dude. We're fishing this little, now you can kind of see that. There's just, it, right where we find the drop off, that's the second fish I've caught. And I can actually see bluegills. They're all along this edge, which is exactly what this clickbait looks like. We're kind of waiting for that sun to get down for you, a full, full blown top water action. There we go. That's a good one too. On the frog. Finally. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Oh yeah. Right on the edge. That's a fat guy. The old popping frog. Well, I think we might do that now. It's been kind of tough fishing these outside weeds, so I think we're gonna stick to they it was tough fishing the inside ones. I think we're gonna fish these out ones outside ones now. That is a good sign. Oh, I watched that one eat. Oh my gosh. He, I paused, I paused wow. and he ate it. He was following it, I paused it and he that's smoked nice it. Woo! That's a long end. He's a little rough looking. He's skinny. But yeah, that's he's got the head of like a three and a half to four. He's a little skinny guy. Sheesh. Yeah, I was reeling it out. I'm like, oh, there's a fish behind it. And I stopped and he just crushed it. I watched him eat it right there. Whoa! Hang on. Oh, that was a giant. That was a giant. Probably the biggest that was giant yeah that was like a six seven wow. oh he might eat again he might eat again that was massive that was the biggest explosion i've ever seen oh. it's not like somebody following that was him. insane i i don't know if i've ever seen one that big oh hang on easy take it easy 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 it's a big one it's a big one just just don't horse it that's a big one that's a big one okay okay i think that's her yeah that's a big that's a big giant fish that's a massive fish oh she ate again she ate again all right, all right. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh no, it's bad. Okay. I can't lip it. Woo! Look at that! I bet it's in the fives. It's dense. It's really dense. There you go. I bet right at five. It's it feels heavier than it actually looks. It doesn't actually look all that heavy. Five pounds, seven ounces. Five, seven. F five, seven. Five and a half. Almost broke the PB by like a quarter pound. They're just teasing me. <laughs> it's close. It's that close. Next one. Dude, that's a mega. Five and a half pounder on Woo! the revolver. revolver. Second hit, too. Second hit. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, we still have plenty of daylight and that storm over there looks like it's holding off. So hopefully we get one that's just a little bit bigger. Oh, right there. That's a good one too. Right on the frog. Woo! Yep, there we go. That's pushing four. Wish it was a little fatter, but lengthwise, Look at that popping frog. She. Oh. There we go. Oh, we got him in the pads. Squeaky. It's a little guy. Right on the edge. On the popping frog. Yee. See, dude. Yeah, there he is. Let that let him eat that one. That's a decent one. Switch over to the revolver. Woo! Look at that. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, it's raining now, folks. See all the rain getting it. 
I was like, oh, you know what? Let me throw the revolver and see what happens. It did catch a five pounder and boom, we got about three, two and a half, three pounder. Oh, there we go. Right off the rip. That might be a little better one. Revolver's doing it. Woo. Guy's got a little attitude to him. Yeah, he might have a little more girth. Yeah. Just a little bit. Woo. Yep. That's a better one. Woohoo! Another one. There. That guy was silent. Silent killer. Might be a little better one. Oh, yeah. Woo! Yep. Look at that. Oh, that popping fro. She gone. Shoo! We made it, ladies and gentlemen. It's the next morning. Look at that. You always have the cool stuff going on here. You got a little whirly bird. <laughs> <laughs> There's a helicopter on a trailer right here. So today's plan. We just got done fishing. It was a good time. Caught some fish. Uh, woke up early in the morning. You can see sun's coming up. And there's a helicopter. And so what, what is going on? What's the plan right now? So today we are capturing zebras to relocate them. So Perfect. This is one of the really cool things at ranch we get to do sometimes yep. uh, on the conservation side. And so Flair was in town and we're lucky enough to have him and we get to be a part of it. Yeah. It's really cool. Because I, I was telling everybody that I attempted to have a high fence ranch until yeah. I realized it was too. It's, it's like, I feel like I, I owe it to you guys since I promised you a high fence ranch. I owe like the cool stuff because oh, yeah. if I did it, would I go this crazy? Probably not, but it would have been cool if I had some exotics, but you do. Yeah. And, and this so is, this, this is, is this cool. is how, this is like the most ethical way of doing it, the most efficient way of doing Absolutely. it is yeah. running around in a helicopter. And this is one of the more rewarding things is you, uh, as you help sustain a population and grow them, yep. is being able to, as sad as it makes us to let some of them go, is for like a good purpose. Yeah, and for so sure. We've actually got a guy that's gonna talk about that here in a second too. Like what we're actually doing. Yeah, with got it, okay, sweet. All right, what's your name? Tad Honeycutt. Nice to meet you. What's what's the plan right now? So what we're gonna do, uh, we've been here a couple days already. We've got uh, some zebras out here in this past year. We're gonna relocate. Yep. Uh, Toby's been kind enough to uh, be a part of our conservation efforts. Yep. And uh, he, he's been a great client of ours. and and uh, his animals do very well out here. Yep. They raise good and uh, good good healthy stock. We're gonna come out here and grab them and uh, relocate them to another like-minded uh, ranch that uh, wants, to, wants to build the herd and, and uh, join us in conservation. So hey, do you wanna tell them a little bit about the company yeah. and what you guys do? Yeah, I work for Wildlife Partners. Uh, we've got 50 plus ex uh, exotic species that we raise and, and uh, you know, our main focus is just building herds and, and uh, dealing with like-minded people. You know, we, we don't do any kind of hunting or anything mm -hmm. like that. It's all it's all raising and breeding and, and uh, relocating. So, nice. Uh, these things are, you know, it's a good livelihood and, and it's good for, uh, you know, populations and and uh, good stuff for our kids to uh, enjoy and, and get to get to be a part of for the rest of their lives. Yeah, for sure. Cool. I was in actually Panama last week fishing with my family and uh, and happened to run across a really cool guy from South Africa. He runs a refuge down there. We we're talking about some African animals, and I showed him some pictures. He's like, "You're kidding me!" And he's like, "Toby, these are some. We have some ginsbok in there too." And he said, "These are some of the most healthy ginsbok we've ever seen." Yep. And so, growing up in Africa his entire life, yeah, on a freaking reservation, yeah, and seeing that is pretty cool. And and he was pretty neat, like how yep. excited they were about what we do over here from the conservation efforts. Sure. Yep. So uh, I say one one thing, like you you said the word grab them. Would you, uh, <laughs> you want to elaborate on that? I mean, we have a helicopter. What, what, what does that mean? We, we knock them down with a light sedative, and, and uh, we run out there and grab them. You'll be on a four-wheeler. I got yeah. guys on four-wheelers, and I'll have a guy with me and the bird, and we'll jump out, we'll grab them. We'll uh, get, them, uh, get them tied up and, and get them brought back here to the trailer. And, yep. and uh, So, to be clear, we're not shooting, okay? No one, nothing's dying. No, no. They're just, they get paralyzed for eight minutes? That's about it. Yeah, yeah. You, that's quick. You yeah. better tie them up quick yeah, yeah. and get so, them in the trailer. And if you guys ever watch a rodeo and the guys come out to shoot and they rope the calf and tie the calf, yeah, kind of like this, like yeah. that, but on steroids, yeah, with helicopters, yeah, I got it, four wheelers, and it's like the <laughs> ultimate cool experience. Got it. So that's that's kind of the plan. Helicopter. I'm staying clear from. Okay, I will be on a four wheeler chasing. But so helicopter's gonna go, and that's what it used to locate them. Obviously, fly around. And, you're and, like, hey, there's a zebra, and shoot. So you're shooting from the helicopter. I shoot from the helicopter. That in and of itself is insane. A dart. A dart from a helicopter yeah. with rotor rod. Yeah. Gosh, this guy is. That's, I don't want to try to shoot again. That is insane. So as it, what, how how much time do you think we got? Just we'll a few. In a lift. We're ready to go. Ready to go All right, right, let's do it. You guys stay tuned.
Park. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Oh god, I, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of scared. All right, so you think they're straight ahead? Yeah, I hit that hill. Straight okay, ahead. see if I can find them. If you can't find them. Watch the bird. Okay. All right. Have see fun. you later. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go find us a zebra. All right, the helicopter's really far away. Super far away. It's way over there. All right, now I'm looking for another dude on a four wheeler, and I don't know where he's at. Oh, here he is. Boys, we're on the move. I don't know if you guys see it, there's a huge eland right here. <laughs> that thing's big. They said they didn't even trank us, they just netted it because it was small enough. Oh, that my, my guide is, he is calling ass. I better get going. You guys stay tuned.
Well, I did not expect that, folks. Just went for a quick helicopter, right? They're like, hey, jump in. I'm like, all right, cool. So this is what it looks like. And so what they've done so far is just net guns, right? That's all they've done. No tranquilizing because they're little. But if they're big, you can't net gun them. You got to tranquilize them. I think we're about to tranq a few right here. Okay. So, so far we've only found baby zebras, the baby younger ones. Um, so they literally just shot them in the net gun. So they haven't been like tranquilized whatsoever. They're literally just wrapped up. They hog time, they throw them in, they untime, and they're good to go. Like I said, it's super ethical. Like they don't get super stressed out. And you can tell we started at sunrise because it's hot. It's not hot right now, but it is during the day. So they don't they don't do this when it's really hot outside because then they'll stress the animals out and they can die. Like these guys care more about these animals than most people care about like their cattle or whatever. Like they're it's super 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 high priority for animal safety. So that was crazy. That was a, I think that was the second time I've ever been in a helicopter. But that was like. We were dipping and diving and moving. You're not flying it like you would normally fly a helicopter. That was absolutely intense. So it sounds like they're gonna go look for some biggins. We'll see what we find. Yeah, that one's a little bigger. <laughs> Much bigger. Well, folks, that is the last zebra. Last one. They got two two big ones and then some some little ones. So like that guy. Uh, they were a lot more calm because they got tranquilized, but you see they've got muzzles on. You might be thinking, oh, this is cruel. No, this is by far the most ethical way to transport livestock, the least stressful way for them. Um, but the reason why you have a muzzle is because they bite really bad. They were showing me some photos. I cannot show you guys. Um, bit some dude in the chest, picked him up and flung him. I mean, it just completely tore him up. Like, they're insane how, how strong they are. I mean, you put your finger in there, finger is gone. So that's basically what we're doing. We gotta, we're gonna be, we'll be right, actually right on time. We got about an hour and a half. We gotta drive to the office. Like I said, at the beginning of the video, stay tuned. Uh, Banjo's flying in here in about an hour or so. I don't know if we'll pick him up from the airport or where we'll be. He may just have to snag a ride, but we are gonna go to the office. I'll show you guys the office. We got basically a full day of meetings pertaining to the Guggen, ducks, bucks, all that fun stuff. So you guys stay tuned. We are in the office, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, What's, oh, I don't, can I show this? Uh, dude, this whole thing's gonna be pixelated. I feel like I can't nah, show it. I just show it. Who's gonna get mad? Anyways, look at these. This is this is Big Daddy's CEO, Matt Kendrick's office. Look at the glowing Guggen shoes. Woo, Guggen squad shoes. I started in here because I shoot and everyone's working. Uh, it's actually like five, so everyone's kind of getting off. We had meetings all day long. Super productive, crazy stuff coming. But this is Kendrick's office. This is where we had a meeting. All this stuff's written backwards, so no one can probably read it, hopefully. Um, but that's conference. We just had big, big, long, like eight hour meeting there. Not sure what's going on in there. Not sure what's going on. In there. Is that Maddie B's office? I think so. Maddie B, is this, this is, your office? This one's yours. Or this one? The next one. This, this, one's this is, this is, oh, oh, well, the, the duh, yeah, that's team big, guys. big team Guggen guy. Yeah. Look at you. Well, you guys, you guys got the jerseys already, right? Oh yeah. I was you wearing I told, I posted a photo in it. I don't have that many goods in here. Not, not. You know, we've got the early run of the minis and micros, Ooh. which are on GuggenSquad.com right yeah, now. Yeah, see, in this video, I promoted promo code Flare, so okay. if, if you guys want Ooh. some mini stuff, look at that little guy. I'm gonna catch some blue. Ooh, that. dude, you know how, how many, many fish frogs? you would catch? Dude, you, you catch frogs on those frogs. Oh, true, because they're smaller. Yeah, we might have to take them frog the fishing. Dude, this so. is, look at that. You even got a window. Can you look at that? I do. Yeah. Look at you. Hey, this see. was the first run jersey before we added the quarter zip. Uh, oh, okay. okay. And then we updated it. Oh, got got that got that new now. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. Got the, the quarter zip, so that's why the jerseys took a little longer. We added that. Got it. Okay. So had to make it look legit. They'll be online within the week. Within. With, he's got week. fancy things on his desk. Is this a, is this a raising one, like a oh, standing yeah, you, desk? Yeah, you just gotta. You know, Bro, and, my office don't have that. Bro, I have a folding table in my house. This look at this. You guys have all the cool stuff here. So yeah. fancy. Yeah. All right, so little, we got. Oh, what's going on there? Experimentation here. I stole these from the lab. Really? You never know. I kind of like that collar. Look at that. Honestly, like you build them a little smaller. Walleye fishing. Oh, dirty. We need some more northern colors. Dirty. Yeah, I, was, I guess that's right. There's more northern. Southern meant. colors. Yes. We're pike, to dude. Pike. Oh. Exactly. Oh, you can muskies. See where I'm going. Oh, they go off. All right. Maddie B is like, I mean, we're gonna try to make this as quick as possible. But I thought it'd be cool for you guys. There, look at the man, hey. LFG. Shoot. Shoot. How how was how was our big meeting in there? You you you, know, you joined us. A good time. Yeah, it was good. I think uh, we finally decided we need to do some work. Yeah, it's a, there's a lot there's a lot going on. There's yeah. a lot going yeah. on. You guys are behind. Like a lot. <laughs> but, it uh, it took us eight hours to talk about this year's products basically, yep. and it had nothing to do with fishing. 
Nothing. Just, it was just, all hunting stuff. There's a little bit coming. Li we, got so, we got some stuff coming. So I have not. I, I don't. This is brand new to me. Like, I, this is all new. So okay. we got just bays. Which one's your office? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't have one. Don't See, one. I don't get one either. We don't get crap. <laughs> we, <laughs> we get nothing. We have an Look at all the merch. Look at all this. Team, so this is all apparel. Yep. Uh, we have some yeah. wonderful ladies. Dude, that we coming out with some Guggen jorts or what? Uh, what? I mean, you gotta, of, you gotta try those on. What's the strat? A lot of people in the office wear jorts. Just some you, 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 you feeling the Guggen shorts or no? Yeah, I might get some on. It's no. Oh, what, some what's what's it? Can I? Do I have to blur that? What's going oh, on? What's going on? Yeah. Oh! Don't feel that man. Oh, oh shit! That. He's not scared to show me. Really? Can we show him? Can we? Right, can, uh, I'm, can, just, can I'm just gonna you say you about it. it rhymes with golden crispies. Yeah. Ooh, that's the crispy catalog. Is that you're telling me? Oh, okay, that's it. That's it. That is it. Who's, who, so, we got an office back there. Uh, yeah. Yes, this is where uh, Isaac. Oh yeah. Frank, this is so this is this is like station. the bait lab yeah. right here, right? Yeah, this is sort of. We have some things. I might not. I might not show what's in front of me here. I don't know what I can show. I'm supervising. I'm not. Yeah, just. I'm trying not to. Can I show? Can I show this thing? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Boom! Look at the oh, heater. Yeah. Sheesh! It's basically a little a little speed worm, right? The thing looks sick. It's basically yeah. It's a grass cover reeling speed worm. Yeah. Um, Called the heater. Yeah. Absolute heater. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying, yeah. Sure. Anything else in here? We can't brush <laughs> yeah, yeah, get in trouble. Any, anything in here? Isaac? What's What's this yeah. department here? This looks important. Uh, what's going customer on? service. Customer service. Customer service. Okay. A little website back end here. Okay. TikToks. We got tape for the TikTok. Tate, tick yeah. the TikTok guy. He's yeah. a big TikTok guy. See, I hate TikToks. They always kick me out. So we hired somebody named Tate who knows it so much better than anyone else here. You're a TikTok legend, and you're gonna be making some Guggen TikToks. That's right. So that was it. Yep. Speaking August of TikToks, first. seeing some LFG so, talk. Oh, oh, started this week. LFG talk. He goes off with the really? TikTok grind. Yeah. I'll have to follow. LFG I talk. Like Ooh. Jeez. I'll be gonna plug in here. I gotta get a plug Let's in hear it. Start. Let's hear it. Guggen Squad TikTok. Yep. Official. Yeah. Guggen Squad official. Okay. You can put it on the screen. Link link down below. August first. We're gonna go one a day. Maybe two on the Lots weekend. Lots of flair Ooh. on there. Oh, there's a, lot a ton. Of He's like a, a, a ton of the beefcake. You can show pop. that real quick. What's going on here? I ain't afraid to show that. Go what's going? What, what's this department? How's how's We're it going? Apparel, soft goods. Okay. All the clothes. Ooh, big big clothes guy. Ooh, Let's look show at that real quick. Sheesh, coming soon. Match a side by side. Oh, true. Yeah, I guess we do have a side by side. It's wrapped in. Can I show what's going on? I'm gonna make sure there's nothing in front of me that we can't. Uh, you can show see. this. Yeah, sure. You, can show you sure? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Boom. Make look at that guy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. We got some duck stuff coming. Okay. Look. Look. Built-in buff. Built-in buff with breathing holes that spell ducks, folks. Soon. It's game-changing. Coming soon. This is a little lounge area where we, we ate some lunch here. Big TV. Office looks like another office. There are some beanies in there. Another office, another office, kitchen, break room, another conference room. That looks like a bunch of good goods. What's going on? That's a lot of good, good stuff in there. I'm not, you guys want a good, good is it's up and coming golf apparel. And like I said, then kitchen, more printing stuff. And I think that's pretty much it. So like I said, I want to give you guys a quick office tour. We spent all day. It may, eating meetings is really good. A lot of big things coming soon, hopefully, for ducks and bucks. We got all that stuff taken care of. And oh, there he is. What? I was who? What's going? Where were you? What, what was going on in the closet? Was that, secret meeting in the closet. Yeah, seriously. We're waiting for Reckley to come out of the closet, but it's, he's got some shirts. At some point. At some point. <laughs> yeah. Were you guys having a secret meeting in the closet that we didn't know about? Oh, uh, we are yeah. coming out of the closet currently. <laughs> really? <laughs> Sheesh. We were like, I'm like, where's, where's CEO? Where's Trey? Where? I, like, I'm giving everybody a tour right now, and I didn't, none of the important people They're are off the clock. It's Yeah, that's this guy. Oh yeah, true. It's five o'clock. You got any beers back there or what? You want beer? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm good. No, 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 no. I'm good. I, I went and showed off your shoes though. What the shoes. What did you say about them? They look cool. I was like, look, look at fancy in the little glass case and whatnot. Did he show off all this new stuff? No, he didn't show any of that. He didn't go in there. I was scared. He just showed the. I'm scared. The to, I'm scared to show right. what we just did in there. It's top secret. Yeah. What do you What do you want to show in there? Nothing. You want to show some? I haven't. I think you should show the, uh, the camo. We did. We we over the there. We found some over there. there. Okay. The du the ducks camo. Because that's like farther along in in how the. About, how about a backpack, real quick? Sure. Grab a back. Grab the back. I'll let you bring it out here, so I don't. I don't disclose anything that we're not supposed to. Wah bam! Signed by Bucks. That's an LFG special. Bucks backpack. Special. Look I'll at that. Hanging in a tree with that. Woo! 
Ooh, look at that. It's all quiet. Yeah. Look at that durability That's right awesome. there. She heat durability. Look at all that. So working on that box backpack. Love it. You loving it? Loving it for the tree, for the oh, blind, for whatever. It's, it's LFG approved. We get a, we need a certification stamp. Just need to get some LFG, true. <laughs> got to break it in. Oh, so, oh, I, I got something to show you. What? We got one more thing. I don't know this, but we actually designed a lot of flare thumbnails here in house. A lot of uh, oh my thumbnails? Fruit. Is that what yeah. you said? Yeah, they're all okay. <laughs> What? Okay, we have actually catalogs. Oh, geez. Catalogs oh, geez. of Pantones. Wait, do what? Of, of colors okay. that are for red arrows, for outlines. <laughs> for, ye for yellow text. Absolutely. We can get really I did not know that there was you this many colors. Uh, yeah. 50 Shades of Yellow. See you later. Uh, so we have, oh, we, we store all of his thumbnails. We study them as well. Uh, see the next one I see. could develop into. Yeah, this, this one's me standing in front of a helicopter. And, that, and and probably yell some yell text, maybe an arrow in there, maybe okay, a couple arrows. Do we need to pick yeah. out the arrow? We might go, go with a two, two or three. <sighs> I'm thinking, I think it's probably more of like the two two range is probably the arrow, and then this is definitely where that text is coming from. It's somewhere somewhere right in there. Oh yeah. Oh, Ooh, that. there's some blazers. Ooh, Speaking of yeah. bucks, look at that guy. Yeah. yeah let's see. What you got? You got any colors? Oh my there gosh. Are. Oh, you're. That, that looks like that, the arrow. Yep. Boom. Ketchup. That's what it is. Oh, it's ketchup. That makes sense. Well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tour. Hopefully you guys enjoyed tranquilizing and net gunning zebras. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the fishing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the HQ tour. Long video, Texas Send, 24 hour Texas Send. We are headed home tonight. So the next video you see, we'll be back to our normal shenanigans at home. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember, promo code flare at Check it out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you next time. Peace.